Hey, what up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of The Random Pick. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having a nice, relaxed, awesome weekend. Now, today's episode, I decided that if I set the price ranges correctly, there's a chance I could get a Team of the Year player for today's episode. Um, so, what I did was choose between 150 and 550k um, for the first couple of players. And on page number three, we get loads of choices of 89 rated players. But luckily for me, there is a lovely blue on that page and we choose team of the year Marcelo to go into today's video as opposed to Bobby Moore, Hierro, Inform uh, Iniesta, whoever that was. Um, of course we would go for the blue. That was the whole point of me setting those price ranges. I wanted to try and get a blue and we got one. Um, we weren't quite so lucky on our second go though. Page number 18 is our number and we get an 89 rated Zlatan Ibrahimovic or Iniesta or Van der Sar but I thought I haven't used in, uh, Ibrahimovic in this series for a little bit and uh, we're probably going to want some sort of attacker now for the final player we go to page number 27 and on that page as you can see there's a big standout blue he goes by the name of Luka Modric now we upgraded the price range for that last player I thought uh, well since the team of the year midfielders came out um, there was a chance that we could have got like an Iniesta or a Modric or maybe even a Pogba um, and as it were we got ourselves a couple of team of the year players for today's episode how epic is that um, now the odds were quite high seems as they're they were popping up quite a lot on it all the random pages as we were scrolling through and stuff um, so it was inevitable that we were going to do that and the three players are right here of course this is the full squad it's looking pretty tasty um, we've got Lloris in goal he's a very good keeper on this game now um, what I like about this squad is that it's got like this combination of shitty non-rare goals on the right hand side and then lovely blue players on the left to see if that would make the team play any differently. Now, um, Marcelo is our first random pick player of today. He's 89 rated with some pretty insane stats, uh, including 91 dribbling and 90 defending. That's not too shabby. Um, yeah, very, very sick looking player. Just absolutely awesome stats on him. Uh, I couldn't believe it when I saw them. Uh, and then even like Danny Alves was were even better than his. It's crazy. They've gone all out with the stats on team of the year. Uh, Rakitic and I think his name's Williams going to the midfield. And then we've got Lucas and we've got Neymar up front uh, in them wing positions. Uh, with our second round of pick player being team of the year Modric. 93 overall rating. That's pretty crazy. Um... He's got 95 dribbling. He's got 91 passing. Pretty insane stats once again. Four-star skills and weak foot. Looks to be a very good midfielder. And then our third and final random pick player is the regular item. It's not a team of the year. It is Latan Ibrahimovic. 89 overall with the 85 dribbling, 90 shooting, and 86 physical. Four-star skills, of course. Give him five-star skills, EA. That's what we all want to see. We want to see Zlatan with the full skill moves. That's what we would love. Um, but he'll do for now with the four-star. He's a pretty epic striker on this game from what I've used uh, so far in FIFA 16. So that's the squad. At the moment, around 1.25 million. Uh, I'm sure... The team of the year players' prices will fluctuate. Of course, there's that Koscielny in there as well. He'll no doubt fluctuate a little bit. Um, so whether the team goes up or down, I have absolutely no idea. Um, but this team was fun. I had a lot of fun playing with this. Um, and I was actually getting goals from more than just Zlatan, which previously, if I ever used Zlatan, he's like the only player that scores for me. And as you can see here... We were actually distributing it to different players that were scoring goals. Neymar was getting on the score sheet, which is not something he usually does for me. Normally, I'm playing Neymar when I want like Suarez to score goals. Or whoever I'm linking him up to is who I want to score the goals. Rakitic popping up with a lovely goal right there. Um, but we do manage to get some goals with uh, Zlatan, of course. A nice Rabona playing it through to Ibra, who then sticks it in with that finesse shot at the uh, the outside of the uh, outside of the box, should I say. Trying to get my words out here. That's a lovely finish. And a nice ball from Neymar. Rakitic plays it to Ibra, who just chops it past the defender. Bangs it in the back of the net. The shot power on that. I think if the keeper tried to save it, he was going in the back of the net with the ball. Because that was just crazy shot power. And then I think he got one more goal for us. We played like, I think it was six games with this team today. Um, and we basically won them all. And there were people that rage quit and stuff. But we were having a good time. But that goal from Zlatan was the final one that he was to score. There was a different hero in this video, and he goes by the name of Luka Modric, Team of the Year version. I was absolutely, completely, and utterly blown away by how good he was in the centre of midfield. 
an absolute gem. Like, the upgrades that he's received have obviously just boosted him enough that he turns into this monster in the middle of the park. Now, don't get me wrong, he's kind of a little guy um, who's obviously not going to be that strong. But you got people like Zlatan and Rakitic in this squad for that, for that, to do that sort of role. What you want is Modric finding these little pockets like Rakitic. Lovely touch, buddy. Lovely half volley, Modric. Oh, that's a nice goal going into the back of the net with ease. Seriously, seriously good player on this game, and I was having a lot of fun. Once I realised that Modric could shoot. I was taking quite a few pot shots, so most of the goals you'll see are actually from distance because once you realise someone's got long shot capability, well, you're going to do all you can to get the best goals that you possibly can, of course. Uh, and this is the final goal we got with Modric. This was just some nice dribbling and then getting it into the box. Loads of space, finesse shot into the back of the net, a good goal. Um, so it's time we rated these players and given basically an overall rating for everyone in this squad. Lloris, great job. I don't know how many goals he let in for this team, but it wasn't many. We basically got clean sheets, and uh, if he let one in, it was probably just the one or maybe the two, but we'd score like four goals um, to annihilate my opposition. I really like the right back and that Williams combo. That was actually quite good for the non-rares. They were very impressive. Marcelo, whew, I like him a lot. Four star value for money because he is quite expensive for a left back and a 9.5 out of 10. He is nearly the perfect le left back, so... You're going to have to pay a bit of money, but you do get the quality goods. Um, so it's like a toss-up whether or not you have the coins, really. Uh, Rakitic in the midfield did a great job, as well as I mentioned Willian's there doing some solid work defensively. But now we get on to the hero of this episode, Luka Modric. What do I think about him? Well, four and a half star value for money and a 9.5 out of 10. I just can't see myself giving that five star value for money when he does cost around 600,000 coins. That's a lot of coinage for anyone to spend, um, but I do feel like he's very, very worth it. Uh, maybe there's a slightly better option for that price. That's why he doesn't get the full five star value for money. And then Zlatan Ibrahimovic, <laughs> I'm going to leave this in there, I'm not even going to edit that out. Zlatan Ibrahimovic has got a uh, 5 star value for money and an 8.5 out of 10. I think he's well worth that under 100k, but in this particular uh, episode, he didn't perform as well as I wanted him to. I think probably because in the end, I was just trying to get the ball to Modric so that he could do his thing. Now I'm actually going to do a player review for Modric because I really enjoyed him and I want to talk about him in a lot more depth and detail. Over on the foot with YouTube channel. Make sure you go and click and subscribe to their channel over there. I make four videos a week. We're reviewing all the team of the year stuff right now, so it's pretty good times. Uh, if you could smash a like on this video as well, that'd be amazing. Subscribe to my channel for new content every single day. Have a great Sunday and I'll catch you next time, boys. Peace.